Hi, this is Chris with Mobile Experience. Today I'm going to be talking about Evernote versus Upnote. I'm mostly going to be talking about their similarities, but a couple of differences as well. Okay, first I'm going to talk about version history or node history. For Evernote, when you're in a file, you simply click on the ellipsis and you scroll down to node history and you can see the entire history of that file every time it was edited. Now in Upnote, you also click the ellipsis and they don't call it node history, they call it version history, but it means the same thing. It's every stage of the node, every time it was edited. Okay, and if you look on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see that Evernote has task in their app. And in Upnote, they call them to-dos. It means the same thing. And they're both on the left-hand side of the bar. Another thing that's interesting, if I can get my screen back, is that uh, Upnote, if you'll see here where I'm pointing the pen, as uh, edit protection. So you can type in the body of the note, but it won't do anything until you click that pin. In Evernote, I could not find any such function. You can basically hit anywhere in the note, the title. It, to me, it's a great way to accidentally delete something. With both apps, you simply hit the ellipsis to export your note. And in Upnote, you click here, you click export, you can export to text, HTML, export to PDF, and export to the Markdown language. Uh, in Evernote, when you are in a certain note, you also hit the ellipsis and scroll down to export. And with Evernote, your op options are the proprietary Enix format file and single web page HTML. Uh, Upnote, or Evernote does not have nearly as many options as uh, Upnote does. Okay, the last thing I would like to talk about are tags. They both offer tags. They're implemented in a little bit different way with each other. First, let's go to the Evernote app and you simply go to the bottom of the screen and you'll see add tags. I've already added the tag of animals to this note. So, okay, as far as finding things with tags, you can go over here in Evernote to the search bar. Remember we put animals in the, in the list. So we type in animals and every note with that tag will come up. And of course there it is. In Upnote, it works a little bit differently. In Upnote, you click the edit button and in the body of the note, you type a hashtag. And when you type a hashtag, you can type in the word you want to use to help you find that note in the future. I'd like to say that between the two apps of Evernote and Upnote, I believe that Upnote is the superior app. It has great functionality. It's very similar to up to Evernote in many ways. Evernote, though, the personal subscription costs approximately $130 a year if you pay for it up front for the year. Upnote is only 99 cents a month or $24.99, I believe, for a lifetime subscription, meaning you don't have to ever pay for it again. I'd like to thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments.